Hi, this video is for uh, the FUE uh, donor scar. It's been over a year, follow uh, over a year, and it's a follow up. And to show the audience that the FUE scar is there, and there's no surgery without scar, but the scar is hard to see. Uh, the result varies from one individual to another. Um, both FUE and FUT produce scar. There's no surgery without scar. But the FUE scar is less visible because it's tiny dots and scattered throughout the back. On the other hand, the strip method will leave you a linear scar. Both techniques uh, have pro and con. There's no technique are perfect. The uh, benefit of the FUE are less invasive because when I cut uh, you open. So less invasive in the FUT, less visible scar, less painful, faster healing. Um, uh, pretty much a little less side effect. And those are great about the FUE, but the downside of the FUE are it's a lot more expensive. The number graph is uh, we can do less than the FUT. The FUE can do starting around 2250 to 3000 graph. Where on the other hand, the strip method, the FUT can go 3500 to five 6000 graph. Uh, so the FUE is more for mild to moderate hair loss, the FUT is more to advance uh, for advanced hair loss. The other downside of the FUE is the cost uh, we mentioned uh, and the growth rate. Now, you can have excellent density with my work whether you do FUE or FUT, but with my FUE, uh, the uh, result, uh, the uh, growth rate is 10% less than my FUT. And then the other downside of the FUE is we had to shave the head completely in the back, in the donor area actually, completely down so we can harvest one at a time. So more extensive shaving with the FUE. On the other hand, the strip method, we shave a small area, we cut out what we shave the long, when you walk out the long hair, you should hide it. So, on the other, uh, so the FUT, the downside is the linear scar, and it's a little bit more invasive and more painful and more side, more chance of side effect. But it's, they both are minimally invasive, that's what we do outpatient and you go home. Uh, but the great part of the FUT are, uh, is a lot more cheaper than the FUE because there's less labor. Less uh, cheaper probably doesn't mean worse quality. As a matter of fact, the FUT had 10% more density than the FUE because there's less chance of damaging to the root. And the, and the other benefit of the FUT is for advanced hair loss. If you're class five, six, or seven, it's not uh, you know it's not encouraged to do FUE because FUE take many process. It might take three or four surgery with the FUE. It depends. Sometimes it could be two. Where the FUT. Uh, sometimes you can do with one, if not you do two, two surgery and it will cover quite a bit. Uh, so this is the demonstration of the FUE and FUT. Hopefully the audience uh, understand uh, the pro and con for both my FUE and FUT. Well, again, both FUE and FUT leave scar. Uh, I perform both the FUE and FUT. There's no surgery without scar. And the result of the FUE demonstration here it can be varied from one individual to another. Thank you.